Can you hear me now? Good. I think we found a quiet out of the way place where I Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? We're here in the parking lot at the Oregon Community United Methodist Church. The reason that we're here is at the Kobe's main office, which is just around the corner over here, our parking lot is full. So we need to lease space here to park our Kobe's own vehicles. The parking problem at the main office is just one indicator of the rapid growth that Kobe's has been experiencing during the past year. For the first time, we've reached the 100 employee mark with nearly half of those employees working full time. To fit them all in, we've been reorganizing and remodeling and repainting and reshuffling and revamping. At the main office where our adoption, foster care and counseling programs are based, we've been moving desks and people around at record rates, putting three caseworkers in places where there previously were just one or two, reorganizing our reception area to fit in another desk and another secretary receptionist, remodeling our copier workrooms to fit in more files and make room for more people to flow in and out of the room. And just when I think I have a place for everyone and everyone in their place, then they go and hire somebody else. Can you hear me now? Kobe's is growing to meet the needs of children and families in our communities. So Kobe's has experienced the most growth since in at least two decades. And one of the areas that we're noticing um, that growth is in our resource homes. We currently have 93 resource homes. Um, and more astonishing than that is we have 29 families who are currently going through our, our pre-service training process. So our biggest advertising um, arena is word of mouth. And the families that are currently with Kobe's talk to a lot of other people as well. Their, you know, congregations at church, their mom's groups that they attend. And the, the common theme that we hear from our families is that Kobe's is very supportive of them um, during the, the pre-service training process and then once they have children placed in their home. Uh, we really strive to have our families feel supported because this is a very, very difficult job. With the foster children that we are working with, 85% of the birth families, either one or both parents are suffering from some kind of an addiction. Commonly, it's heroin. Um, so we have seen the number of children coming into foster care grow, and as a result, we've had to add staff. Last year, we had about 600 referrals, meaning each number is a child who's in need of a resource home. Um, and this year we've had almost 1,100 kids who've needed placement. There were a number of kids that we just didn't have families for, um, which is very unfortunate. Um, so that's why we're so excited about being able to grow our training program to train and approve more foster and adoptive families. We're seeing a lot of birth parents with substance abuse issues. Um, Addiction is very difficult and when parents are struggling with that, um, along with lots of other things that come with the addiction, it's very difficult for parents to be able to keep their kids safe. And as a result, kids are getting placed into foster care at higher and higher rates um, than we've seen over the last number of years. There's always a need for resource families. We have families that just do foster care, families that are looking to adopt, which are mostly older kids and kids with special needs. Um, and, but the majority of our families are foster and adoptive families, which really is the best for the kids because when they come into foster care, knowing that they're going to either be able to go back to their birth family or stay with the family that they're with uh, is really beneficial. I think there is something special and unique about Kobe's. Um, families often cite that our um, faith perspective really is one of the reasons why they come to Kobe's, um, that they appreciate working with a Christian agency. Um, we also have built really strong relationships with counties that, are, um, that we work with, mainly, mainly Berks and Lancaster counties. And um, we like to be one of their providers of choice. They know that when they're working with a Kobe's family, the kids are going to get cared for really well and the kids and families are going to get strong professional services from the caseworkers at Kobe's. Over the last year, we continue to see lots of growth in our adoption program. Um, the number of kids that we're serving, the number of families that we're serving. We've had um, an increase in our post-permanency services for families who are receiving um, services after they adopt. 
So because all of those increases, we've also needed to increase our staff. We feel that we have a fantastic team here in our adoption program. So we've added two full-time caseworkers in the last year. We've added an adoption coordinator and a number of child profile specialists. In the next three months, we are anticipating 12 more kids being adopted by Kobe's families. So we're super excited to continue to walk that journey with them and be able to see those kids receive permanency. So our post-permanency services program continues to grow. Something that's surprising to a lot of people is that it is a free service that is available for anyone who has adopted and currently lives in the state of Pennsylvania. So families are eligible to receive um, casework services, support group, and respite care through these services. Well, what we have found is that sometimes after children are adopted that families can feel isolated and they're not sure how to navigate the system to get the appropriate services that their children need. So we're able to walk alongside of them and point them in the right direction for when they have issues come up that maybe they need some additional support. Okay, I think we got a minute here, Mark. Can you hear me now? Good. Excuse so, me, I have a phone call. Can you hear me now? Good. Oh, sorry. Judy, can you hear me can now? Can you look up an email for me? Can you hear me now? Uh, excuse, Good. Excuse me. <laughs> can you hear me now? Good. We're here at the Kobe's Permanency Unit at King Street in Lancaster. This is a program that serves children and families referred to us by Lancaster County Children and Youth Agency. We're up here for the same reasons that we're at all these other places. There's just no room downstairs to talk. We've doubled the size of our program over the last year and a half so that we can serve more children and families. Kobe's Family Services just continues to grow. Can you hear me now? Kobe's Family Services is growing to meet the needs of children and families in our community. In 2015, Lancaster County Children and Youth asked our unit to double in size. Currently, um, this past month, we have reached 100 children in care, which is the most that our unit has served up to this point. The permanence unit is contracted through Children and Youth Agency, so we work primarily with the families whose children are already in foster care. We work directly with the birth parents um, to try to get their children back. So what permanency means is our goal is to find the most permanent solution for these children. Ideally, it is for them to return home to their parents. If that's not feasible, then we look at other permanency options like adoption for the children. The thing that we really strive for here is for the children to, to return home. So um, we've recently had a higher number of children return home, which is again what we strive for. Um, but I would say a good day is, is leaving knowing that we have made a difference in these families' lives and that the children are safe, ideally back with their parents and that the parents have the support that they need to be the best parents that they can be. I, I think this will work. This seems like a quiet place where nobody is. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Good. Uh, we're up here on the roof of the Kobe's Family Life Center at 171 East King Street in Lancaster. We're up here because increasingly it's difficult to find a quiet spot inside with all the things that are going on in there. Kobe's purchased this building in the fall of 2012 and began offering parenting classes here in January of 2013. About a year and a half later, we already started hearing rumblings about the space being too tight. We're now offering programs here every weeknight except for Fridays and also some Saturday mornings and Sunday afternoons and evenings. On weeknights we have multiple programs going on at the same time. Our staff has grown to 58 staff here in the Family Life Education Department, most of them part-time educators and child care workers. In January we piloted a brand new program called Celebrating Families. We've been very excited for the opportunity to provide this program to the community. It focuses on families in which one of the parents has an early recovery from drug or alcohol abuse. Kobe's Family Life Education Department offers parenting classes, small group therapy for children, and support group for girls. The classes that we use with our families are evidence-based. That means that they are proven to reduce at-risk behavior in children whose parents attend our classes. So when we can teach parents how to make their families stronger, their children are less likely to engage in crime and delinquency as they get older. In January alone this year, we started seven new Dyna classes. Dyna classes are 18-week courses in which we have small group therapy for children with corresponding parent classes. Dyna is designed to help children between the ages of four and eight with behaviors that are challenging for them and their parents. Uh, these children might need a little bit of extra help learning how to self-regulate their moods and emotions and uh, learning some friendship skills so they're able to be successful in school. 
We want to do what we can to make families strong because we know that families that are strong and healthy are going to have children that are strong and, and healthy. Can you hear me now? Kobe's Family Services is growing to meet the needs of children and families in our communities.